Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. Starting chronologically from the very first booster set, each player gets the draft from the deck box containing three of every card from the current set. It goes like this. The booster set for each episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals battling for the title of champion. The victor gets the spin from the magical wheel, allowing them to pick a card from the deck box on the following episode. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Night. Let's begin. Strong Rulers, previously known as Magic Rulers, was released on September 16, 2002. For a lot of OG players, you guys might have known Spell Rulers to be Magic Rulers. A lot of you guys may be wondering, how did Magic Ruler become Spell Ruler? Well, let me go on a quick history check with this set right here. The rename from Magic Ruler to Spell Ruler was to go with the renaming of Magic Cards to Spell Cards to avoid similarities with Magic the Gathering. The European and worldwide English versions of the set use the name Spell Ruler. The European version used the set ID MRL despite the packets reading Spell Ruler, while the worldwide version used the ID SRL, meaning Spell Rulers. The renamed Spell Cards were first released in North America with 2003 Collector's Tin, but still had the MRL set abbreviation. This set introduces Ritual Spell Cards, Ritual Monsters, Quick Play Spell Cards, and Toon Monsters to the TCG. Highly sought after cards include Confiscation, Delinquent Duel, The Forceful Century, Snatch Steel, Mystical Space Typhoon, Giant Trunade, Cyber Jar, and Painful Choice. Guys, this set is super duper exciting. A lot of awesome spell cards are introduced in this set. Do you guys like your hand? <laughs> the Forceful Century and Confiscation and Delinquent Duel says no. Man, I'm super excited for Magic Rulers. All right, guys, so that's a little brief history when it comes to Spell Rulers. Let's introduce the players. Alright guys, I'm back. Light Skin Magician in the building. Reigning champion, you know what it is. And today I get to pick from the wheel. So we're gonna make our deck even better this time around. Bring on the wheel. Alright, so there's a lot of powerful cards in this next set. Magic Ruler, I'm very familiar with the set. So hopefully I get monsters so I can get that Dark Magician, baby. Let's get it. Spells? Ugh. What am I gonna do with that? I wanted to get monsters so I can get Dark Magician. <sighs> Guess this I'll have to do. All right, guys, so we're on episode number three of Duel Nights. I am super duper excited to come back. Unfortunately, I'm on the losing streak right now, but don't worry, in this episode, everything is about to change. In this episode, we got Jesse Khan here on the show. Oh my God, listen, he's a pro player. Do you think we care? <laughs> this is do or night, baby. This is not where the pros play. <laughs> He's losing today. He has absolutely no chance against Steven and even Denzel over there. Guys, I promise I will not let you down and I'm gonna win today. Let's do it. Hey guys, my name is Jesse Cotton and I am a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player. I have won two YCS championships and a UDS championship, which is gonna make 
this uh, ultimate dual spelts. I've also been to the World Championship three times. I watched the first two videos of Duel Night and loved it. So I messaged them, hey, why am I not on this? Uh, scared I'll destroy you guys, because hey, let's face it, I will. I convinced them enough, and here I am, and I'm ready to destroy these guys, show them what a pro player can do when it comes to drafting. We're back, baby, episode number three. And let me tell you guys something. There's two things that I love in life. Yu-Gi-Oh! And not being in second place. So today, I'm going to do. I'm not going to finish in second place. It's either win or win. Let's go. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Episode number three. It's the draft, baby. It's the draft. We got Jesse Khan here. What's up? Jesse, you excited? Yeah. Listen. Ready to win? Guys, let's show Jesse what Duel Night's all about. What? <laughs> all right, guys. Without further ado. Let the draft begin. All right, let's go. Everybody pick our five pals. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, good, Jesus. good luck, guys. There's so many nice cards, to be honest with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... Nah, what is it? What are you saying under there? Who knows? With two cards? <laughs> Pretty nice. And Jesse, Jesse, this guy is focused. Huh? Yo, there's so many cards in here. And you guys have played with the last two sets. I have, and I started to look at everything. So you're dead out, they're roasting us, eh? Bro, I got the rings to prove it. Yeah, we'll see what happens today. What song? What is that? I traded it for my Terra the Terrible. Steve, you actually got the man ripped off for that one. <laughs> at the time, I did, yes, but Not guess what? Me. Guess what? What? Where's this bum at now? You mm -hmm. go yeah, career, so. so let's yeah. go now. Fam, you are the greatest of all time. You're not lying. Alright, guys, so after one hour of drafting, we drafted all our cards right here. Everybody, Jesse, yep. you have your decks ready? You have your deck ready? Ready. You have your deck ready? Steven. <laughs> All right, guys, so under these beautiful four cards is two dark magicians and two blue eyes. We're going to do it oh, the, the exact same way. Whoever matches gets to face each other. All right, guys, let's go. Let's mix them all up. All right, guys, one, two, three. You pick it. One, two, three. Sam? Sam. Out of all the duelists I get Sam, the easiest competition. This is going to be the cleanest sweep. I'm going to say no more than five turns he lasts. This duel's over. Denzel? Denzel? I'm facing Denzel. This guy won because of luck last week, but this week, like I said, he has no chance. Denzel, listen, at locals, He's known to be as a table 500 man. He has never won a single tournament in his life other than last episode of Duel Night. I'm telling you, it's my first time facing the Duel Night. I promise you, it's a sweep. I face off against Jesse. I would prefer to beat the rookie of the show in the finals, but I guess Ron Run will suffice. He's a great duelist. I have much respect for him. Jesse, we'll see you in round one. Let's go. Steven? This will be easy. I have a, I, you can call it a rivalry, maybe with him. I've known him for a couple of years and always at each other, uh, playfully of course, but I don't know if you can really call it a rivalry considering I beat him maybe 95% of the time. And based on how this draft went, I'm gonna assume it will go the same as usual. All right guys, just finished the draft and I got all the cards I needed to finish my plan and execute it perfectly. So here's my deck list. All right, guys, since I got Spell, I knew exactly what I wanted to do and exactly how my strategy was going to lay out. For this choice, I picked the Delinquent Duo because if they don't have a hand, they ain't playing. All right, so the first part of my strategy, I got the Forceful Sentry. With my three Forceful Sentry, I also paired it up with three Confiscations and add my Delinquent Duo to the mix, you're not even going to have a hand. How can you beat me without a hand? 
For the second part of my strategy, I decided to get the giant truly. This card, if they think they're gonna hide from me and set spells and traps, sorry buddy, back to your hand. I also have some hay names too, so if you try to hide those monsters as well, later, all your cards are gone. You guys aren't playing Yu-Gi-Oh today. And for the last part of my strategy, when they have no more food, when they have no more hand, and I have enough monsters to sacrifice, you guys already know what it is. It's Dark Magician, baby, times three. These guys lose every time. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we just finished drafting, and I believe 100,000% my deck is the best in the entire room. I don't know why these guys didn't even think about this strategy, but my strategy is hands down the best. Here is my deck list. My first strategy showcases the best card in my deck, which is Maho Vaio. Sorry, Maha Vailo. Yes. This card is the best card of my deck. What this card says is that each time an equipped small card is equipped to this card, this card gains 5 million attack. This card has a base attack of 1550, so it beats over any 1500 beaters. And I drafted a bunch of equipped spells to pair off with Maha Vilo. And man, this card, when it attacks, not only does it punches, but it also kicks. This card's insane. To pair off with the Maha Vilo and the equip card strategy, I drafted White Magical Hat. This card is absolutely insane. If you guys do not know what this card does, it reads, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's light points, one card must be discarded randomly from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. This card may have 1,000 attack, but I promise you, this card punches in my deck. As you guys saw in my deck list, I have cards like Luminous Spark, Black Pendant, Hacks of Despair to make this card a huge beater. So whatever it attacks, I get to discard a card on my opponent's hand because this card's gonna be massive. And to pair it off alongside Robin Goblin, this card is insane! Imagine discarding two cards on my opponent's hand every time White Magical Hat inflicts damage. I have these games right in the bag. Last but not least, one of the best cards that I have in my deck that I was able to manage to draft three copies of is Snatch Deal. <laughs> This card is definitely one of the best cards in my deck. This ensures that anytime my opponent has a big monster on the field, <laughs> gotcha, that's mine. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for my deck list and my strategy. These guys don't stand a chance. We just finished drafting. My deck is crazy. This is my deck list. Enjoy, because you guys will enjoy, because that's how beautiful this deck is. You guys know me. I'm not one to brag. I never brag. I'm a very humble man. Just look at my deck. I have 11 Bone Wipes. I have 11. Roy Gecky, Dark Hole, Fissure, Fissure, Painful Decision, Choice, Mirror Force, the list goes on. I don't even need to brag. Just look at my list. What can anyone do when all the power cards are in my deck? How did everyone let me get these? I have no idea. And to pair with my first strategy, I have the best strategy to synergize with it. I drafted all the high attack monsters. So now, after a Geki, Dark Hole, Fissure, the opponent's entire board. Yo, Sam, why don't I do next? What's up? I summon eight colored fish! But not just eight colored fish, all of eight colored fish's brothers and sisters, the highest attack monsters in the whole cube. So now when my opponent summon a 1500 attack monster, they're all done for. Now when you take strategy number one, then you take my strategy number two and combine them together, you get already a total of 30 cards drafted in my deck because of my superior drafting abilities, obviously. I don't even need a strategy number three, baby! Only two strategies! We don't need another one! Let's go! Just finished drafting, and I gotta say, these chumps did not know what they were doing. Easy, gonna be such an easy one for me, for sure. So here's my deck list. My first strategy is Mystic Tomato. So it, along with my other floaters, such as Giant Rat, UFO Turtle, Witch of the Black Forest, and Sangan, all have effects when they're sent to the graveyard. This means I'll never run out of cards when I am playing. And it means when I pair the powerful equip spells that also replace themselves, I'll constantly be able to apply pressure to my opponent. <laughs> my second strategy pairs well with my other one, because any deck should pair well, or have all the strategies work together well, and that is Summon Skull. Very simple strategy, it's to simply summon a 2500 attack monster with uh, relative ease and swing. Powerful monster, gets the job done. 
Summon Skull actually has less than 1500 defense, which means my Witch of the Black Forest can be searched to Summon Skull. Witch of the Black Forest can be searched by Sangan or Mystic Tomato, meaning I should always see my boss monster if I need it. The third strategy my deck employs is Cyberjar. Now, by itself, it doesn't actually apply much pressure, but this will make sure I get out any situation where my opponent gets too aggressive, resetting the field and letting me accumulate all my power spells that I also have saved up, and setting up my really strong Summon Skull plays. And just like Summon Skull, I can search it off of Worship Black Forest or Sangan, meaning if I ever need it, it's there. So that's my strategy, and I gotta be quite honest, guys, I don't know how these guys are gonna win the match, because my deck's ridiculous. Denzel, are you ready? For what? To, to, to lose? <laughs> are you ready to lose? Go in, the reigning champion is here! Oh yeah, guys, I'm actually facing the reigning champion from last yes, week. Yes, sir, skis. Can you tell me what card you drafted last week? Last week? Yeah, Keith. No, I mean, I mean for the wheel. Can you tell me what cards you drafted? Good yeah, to know, my friend. All right, bro. Rock, paper, scissors! Oh, man. For a second. I will choose to go second in this duel. Oh, are you serious? I thought you had a whole, a whole strategy plan. I do. This is Daddy. Alright, I'm going first. Alright, good luck. Did that mean you go first? Okay, man, this is perfect. It's that good, eh? Alright. <laughs> it's that <laughs> easy. It's that episode, yeah. Just in case, I'm gonna play around your 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 stuff. First turn, I am going to normal summon Yurabi. Okay, good. I'm going to set one card in my field spells mode. And I'm gonna set three cards face down. Your turn. Can we? Hold on. You can't say that you know what I'm doing. I, I, bro. This whole set has confiscation. That's my strategy. I'm but you're you're saying it specifically like you know exactly yeah, what I'm doing bro. right off the bat. I don't. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, you're I'm, such I'm, a I'm, cheater. I'm doing that for everybody, bro. I'm, right. I'm doing that for everybody. Okay. So guys, the reason why I set all my cards face down is because of one thing. The only thing that I'm scared of in this entire Magic Ruler Spell Ruler format is cards like confiscation cards like Forceful Sentry and cards like Delinquent Duel. Anybody that I play against, I would have to set on my back row because I don't want to get any cards taken out of my hand. And in formats like these, hand advantage is super duper important. So that's why I set all my cards face down. Also, if you guys saw my deck list, I drafted two Heavy Storms. So that means is either he has Heavy Storms to get rid of this, or I win. Bruh, did he really just do that? That totally works against my plan. What am I gonna do now? Draw for sure. Be my little dinosaur. Let's go. Dino DNA, baby. You're Abby. Hey, you want to confiscation me? Just in case you have it. Hey, Denzel. You want to confiscation me? <laughs> I will set one mysterious card face down. I wonder what that defense. is. Oh, okay. And I will end my turn. What a coward. <laughs> Draw for turn. Wow. I'm gonna summon my card. Mala Vilo. So this card has a ability that says, this card gains primary attack for each equipped card equipped to it. But do I have any equipped cards? Not. Zero. But I'm about to, because you know why? Mr. D. Denzel. Because now I'm gonna flip another part of my strategy. Luminous Spark. This card is a field spell that reads, all light monster gains primary attack and loses 400 defense. So my mobile is at 2050. Beating over all your defense, monster, with 2,000 defense <laughs> by 50. Attack! Activate the giant germ! Oh, when this card is destroyed, I get to find another giant germ in my deck. I lose 500, right? And you lose 500 burn damage. Alright, so that's the first. Summon it and face up attack losers. Well, what a loser. So I lose 500? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. Yeah, uh, in the battle phase, though, I'm gonna use Robbie to attack into your second giant turn. And I will take 500 as well with you. Okay, so I'm at 7,000 to your 75. Alright, sir. Alright. Your turn, Yugi. Draw. Draw, Draw your turn. Good. Hey, you wanna forceful sentry me, perhaps? Or maybe delinquent tool me, <laughs> just in case you have it? <laughs> You can see that trick? Funny, right? No hand. No hand. No hand. No hand. No hand. Ready for my, the beginning of my strategy. I will activate Giant True Nate, sending all your Wait. spell and traps back to your hand. Giant True Nate. Sidekick! 
Guys, I have the perfect response to this. I have a response. And... All right, I gotta do it. Solemn judgment. Okay. okay. It's okay, my, by the cost of paying half my life points, I get to negate the activation of giant truth. So I'm at 3,500 to your 75. Solemn judgment? Bruh. Listen, I had a solemn judgment here. It was an obvious play because if I didn't, I would get all my cards returned to hand. And if he had delinquent duel and force of entry or confiscation, I lose. So I needed to half my light points from here on in and aggressively try to end his light points. All right, it's a good play. Yes, I had to do that. Would you, would you like to set a 2000 defense sponsor for my 2050 Maha Vilo? No, I don't think I'll do that. Yeah, you your turn? I think I'll summon a monster in the face of the attack. Jurai Gumbo. You know what that card does, right? Yes. If you attack, you have to lose half your life. Absolutely. You have a coin to toss? I'm not going to toss it. That's it? Pathetic, then Zhao. Draw. Let me just do some maths here. Sure. <laughs> I'm just calculating, just my, just calculating my. And so, hey, and Steven, uh, Judge, I have a question. Yes? What turn is this? This is turn five. Turn five. Your showdown. Oh, turn five. Oh. Hey, hey, Sam. Yes? Will turn five be the last turn of Denzel? I think I'm about to send last week's champion to the Shadow Realm, Steven. <laughs> so I'm just think my, my collar a little bit here. You look good, bro. So first and foremost, I'm going to normal summon my Shining Angel. Okay, so this card is at 1900 attack because Luminous Spark is on the field. Yep. All right, can I just, I just want to read. Sure. Maybe ask Nasty or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> call it, if you call it right, attack only. If you call it unusual, it puts my hat. Oh, so still attacks. Okay. All right, Mr. D for Denzel. We have Karibo. <laughs> Enter the battle face! How much that points am I? You're at 75, and this is 19. This is this is game. If you don't have Karibo in your hand. Enter battle face. I don't have what? Maha Battle. 2015. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Take that. Yep. Boom. You robbed me. 15. Shining Angel? 19? Okay, heads or tails? Oh no, I, I, you, I, I have to call it. You pick. Know, what does the card say? Uh, you have to call it right. You call it right, but the attack still goes through. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go heads because I love heads. Alright. Heads! Attack! The Activate Karibo from my hands. What? To negate the battle damage of his Jirai Gumo. So I <laughs> 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 I'm cheesed. I'm cheesed. And we go on to main phase two. I'm <sighs> turns to you. I will enter main phase two and I will switch your eye gumbo back. Thank you. I humbly pass my turn to you. Right. So. Draw for my turn. Thank you. Keep going, thank you. So I will activate the Upstart Goblin. Ooh, that's my birthday. Is it my birthday? That will allow you to gain 1,000 light points, points, but will allow me to draw the card I need. You draw Regeki. You draw a coin. This still compete. Still. So what I will do? Is that one card? Is that a serious card in this zone. Why? Why why that zone specifically? And I'll end my turn. Alright, 2050. I can do it. Drew off for turn. Wow. Okay, alright, I'm gonna enter the battle phase. Yes. Mahavalo, I'm gonna crash into I'm gonna attack into your eye gumbo. No response. No response. No response? No response. Sure. Yeah. In the damage step, I'll activate, of course, my rush recklessly. To recklessly attack into your Jurai Gumbo on Mahavalo. Puts it at 2750, higher than Dark Magician. Attack, so you lose 550. Yes. So you're at 1500. Sure. Alright, I will enter the battle phase. Shining Angel will attack your face on defense. Hopefully, it's not a 2000 monster. Because if it is, hey, 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 oh. to send 
thank you for that. I'm sorry, give back to my hand. All right, main phase two. Okay, I am going to set one mysterious card face down and end my turn. So you got 1500 to my 4500. That's the last pathetic card. Set one. All right, so. I'm just gonna humbly enter the battle phase and attack for a game with Mongol Bai. Game. Yeah! <laughs> Yo, you're. What's your hand? What's your because, hand? Because you did that, you saw in judgment the right thing, or you would have. Like, yeah. I had. Can, can, um, come press your hand, press your hand. Your hand. My opening hand, I had duo confiscation. Wow. True nade. Wow. Turn seven. I lost that quickly, and I didn't even get to summon my dark magician. Man, I'm done with this. Yo, how many turns was that? Uh, six. Six? No, no, I think it was seven. Seven turns. Denzel. Easy peasy. Lemon. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. I had fun, and what can I do? Sometimes it's just not your day, but all I can say is hats off. Sam, you had a good duel, and I absolutely hope you get destroyed later on because I want you to lose, and you're the worst duelist out of all of us. Jesse. Steven. Ready to lose? You come on my show? A rookie! Josh! You this here? That means you got no chance. I can't see! Actually, yeah, you'll probably get another infraction, you know, again, if you don't take those off. Just oh, in case oh, oh Stephen, yeah. sorry. Uh, what, this, Judge? Uh, this is Judge Sam here. I was wondering if you yeah. can uh, please take off your, your, your shades before that, the duel starts. That's fine. Listen, Jesse, you're gonna get destroyed, alright? Because you're a rookie on this show, and you wanna know what people do with rookies in the NBA? They go get some, some, some coffee. So why don't you get me some coffee, and then we'll begin our duel. But see, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh here. Yes. Not basketball. And that's, I'm the champion That's here. true, that is Yu-Gi-Oh, so yes. Give me the goddamn water. How about you give me some duels? We're gonna have a great match. All right, GG. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, we don't have dice. <laughs> All right, rock, paper, scissors. This is a true chance of who's the real man, whoever wins this. Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, get a plate! Oh! Ah! Ah, I got a plate! I'm broken. I got a plate! Okay. It's too easy. I got a plate. Would you like to go first or second? I'll let you go first. Give You'll let me go first? Right? Okay, thanks, bro. I appreciate that a lot. Now you can set out good monsters. Good luck, bro. I draw! All right. I'm going to start my turn with setting a monster based on the present of the path past to you. What? Uh, setting a monster face down defense position pass to you. I'm gonna assume you said setting a monster in face down defense position and passing to me. Yes. All right, draw for turn. Uh, main phase one, I will activate the upstrike bell. You get a thousand life, I get a new card. Thanks. I will... Uh-oh. Set one monster face down and pass my turn. Uh-oh. Draw! Oh! <laughs> hey, Jesse, did you watch last episode? Uh, no, well... Okay, well, last episode, I revealed my ace card. And today, this card doesn't bear me anymore, so it's going burn! How big is that? Bigger than your monsters! Probably. Guess what, guys? I hate to admit this, but I don't have many friends. But my Skull Red Bird <laughs> has always been with me since day one. I love this card, man. Let's go, Skull Red Bird! And then I flip Whiptail Crow! Sure. A better Skull Red Bird! And then I enter my battle phase with my 50-50 trusty Skull Red Bird, and I attack your defense position monster. UFO Turtle effect. UFO. When UFO Turtle is destroyed by battle, a special uh, fire monster, it's fire pyro. Fire with 1500 less attack from a deck. Special summon it in attack mode only, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, that's that's scary. That's fine. So All right. I will just get another UFO Turtle. UFO Turtle, okay. Well. I take one to go! And it's 250 damage. Now he's just effect. Sounds good. Come on, get deep third UFO turtle. Beat the wall. Okay, scary. Nice strategy. But is it nice enough? Main phase two, I XYZ A little late. Pass! Between pendulum? Yes, soon. Pass! 
How long in this uh, are you gonna draft until you finally see Pineapple? Then you'll win every time. But... I will, but I'll also win every time today. Has he has he won yet? I don't think so. I got to the finals twice in a row. All right, well I'll draw, and I will tribute my UFO turtle. Tribute for the summon skull. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. And I'll attack the tail crow. Oh, okay. I'll take a lot of damage there. And I will pass turn. I will draw turn. I will a lot higher life points than you by 400. So what I'm gonna do to take advantage of this higher increase of life points, I activate. Painful choice. What did I tell you guys at the beginning of this episode? My point is never safe. I have 10 of these in my deck. Is it gonna come now? Is it gonna come next turn? You'll never know. That I will. You're gonna have quite the painful choice here. I'm gonna pick five cards from my deck and then you're gonna have to pick one of them and it goes to my hand. Yeah. Response? Right here. Well, considering Ash Blossom is many years away from this. Okay, in that case, I will get Fissure! And Swords and Swords! Oh, well, I kind of like my Summon Skull. So I think I will just give you the Swords of Revealing Light. All right, goodbye, my spells. You, I, you're good. Activate Swords! Uh, yes. Send one! Pass. Draw. Events as well, of course. Obviously, I said this is an event, but... Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Hmm. I will set a monster face down. Uh oh. Set a spell or trap. Uh oh. And I'll call it a turn. Oh, so right. this is the first turn of swords? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna spare a skull red bird. Sure. Attack position. Yep. Attack summon skull. So it's 25-50 attack position. Yes. Hmm. I do think I have to do something about that, so I will activate Mystical Space Strike from the Hunger Axe of Despair. Oh my god. So the swords, I can wait a bit, but that, I'll take the, the free trade. <sighs> now does the attack continue through? Because I can't stop it now. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. So you're going to take 950 points of damage here. Oh, that's very sad. I'll have to set one monster and pass to you. I'll drop the turn. I will... Set another monster face down at my turn. Draw. So this is. So you have one turn left on that. Okay. Set one pass! Drop your turn. I will set a spell trap. And call it turn. Draw. So it's gone? Yeah. My turn. I flip! Big guy! So big guy lets you rearrange the top five cards you deck? Yes. Do I get to see him too or just. No? Okay. Uh, no. Next, I'm the very Geki! All right, Regeki is uh, probably the biggest thing I've been worrying about in this draft. I did not get any of them, which means there's three of them floating around for my opponents, and a lot of my flip effects will not work. But I did have some backup plans. My two face downs were Sangans, so I get to replace two cards. Now it's gonna make sure I live. Sure, so I lose. Two Sangans and a Summon Skull. Oh. And Sangans says when it's sent to the grave, that amount yes. of 1,500 or less attack. Yes. And so I can yes. add two now. Yes. And I will add a Mystic Tomato and a Magician of Faith. Sounds good. I can continue my turn? Uh, yes. Flip some Whiptail Coral and Skull Red Bird. Yeah. I really hope that's not a Mirror Force. I'll attack you directly! Sure. All right, so you take in 28.50, so 44, and I'll pass. Drop for turn. I will, damn, this is a hard position. All right, I'll set a monster. I guess I'll save my turn. I know what that is. And now my plan to win the game with a secret card will come to fruition. Me and you both know what that is? You didn't search it with saying, oh, I know very well what that is, okay. <laughs> I hate that. Well, enter battle phase. It's fine. I'll attack your cyber jar! <laughs> I didn't want to do this, because it gives you five cards too, but I own the dire. Alright. Cyber Jar's flip effect is quite powerful. <laughs> it destroys every monster on both of our fields. Cyber Jar! The only card in Yu-Gi-Oh! existence that would save this man from utter annihilation! I don't know if my fissures can help me here. Well, we both revealed the top five cards for us. Let's do that. Four monsters. Wow. 
Okay. Um, and then any level four lowers get summoned either in face up attack or face down defense of our choice. And the rest go to our hands. So you had painful choice and you get four monsters. That's a lot of monsters. So I'll summon my prevent my face down, my Sangan face down, and these three to my hand. I'm uh, thinking, so Mirror Force? So Mirror Force, uh, Robin Goblin, and Solemn Judgment. Okay. So this is Big Eye and 2,000 Defense Spirit of the Heart. Yeah, so then this is the this is Prevent Rat, this is the Sangan. Okay. Uh, and you had a painful, so how many cards do you have in hand afterwards? I have four. Okay. And you'll have? Nine. Okay. And to start on my turn, I'll have ten cards, guys. So it is still the battle phase. I'll, uh, I'll attack the Sangan. And I will let it go through. So Sangan's effect will activate, it's mandatory, yep. and then yep. another monster, 1500 for less. Uh, and I will add another Cyber Jar. All right. I'll set one and I'll pass. Okay. I will draw the turn. Yes. Hmm. I will normal summon my Mystic Tomato. That's fine. Now activate Marvel Nuzzle. Yes. Oh, Mystic Tomato, get 700 bonus attack points. That's fine. I will enter the battle phase. Yes. And I'll declare, declare an attack with Tomato onto seven colored fish. That's fine. So you take 300 points of damage. Yes. I will set. Three cards face down. I still have too many cards in hand. I get seven. Ooh, that's too many. So in the end phase, I do have to discard a card. I will discard my Witch of the Black Forest. I will end my turn here. Draw. <laughs> Flip, big guy. Yeah. So we rearrange the top five cards in deck again. I'll pass. You'll pass here. I'll draw for turn. I'll enter my battle phase straight away. Yes. My Mystic Tomato will attack your high tide Gyojin. Yes. In the battle step, so after attack yes. I'll activate Robin Goblin. That's fine. Meaning you take now, so uh, 350, you take 450 points of damage, and then Robin Goblin says, whenever I deal damage to you, you lose a card from your hand. Yes, so. Sounds good. Painful choice? No, it's very hard. Okay. So that'll stay on my field. And now I'm still thinking I'm in my main phase two. I will set a card face down and I will set one monster face down. I'll call it here. Your turn. I will activate. Raikeki! Ha 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 ha! Raikeki. I think I have to let that go through. Alright. Um, and. What was the card I destroyed? The first game was Prevent Rat. Oh, Giant Rat. Giant Rat. I will. Pay 500 life to put them all on top of that. Okay. Flip summon. Sure. I'll attack with both. This would be 2,000 points of damage. All right, it's putting at 850. Yep. I will have to pass. I will be setting the monster face down. Mm -hmm. Now I have my turn. Draw. I activate. Shit, painful choice! Sure. I look through five. I will get. Which would you like? You can have the spell binding circle. Okay. So, Stephen, painful choice. Made it very painful for him and made things very easy for me. Made his intentions clear. He wanted to thin his deck as much as possible and get to no TK, which means I had to be faster than him. I gave him the trap card because it meant the next turn, I can go Heavy Storm and then set up my own combo to beat him before he gets to his. I want to need everyone to get their thinking caps out for this one. Get the big brainness ready. 
Me and Jesse are each around seven cards left in the deck at this point. So I know very instantly, I already know all of Jesse's deck. They're very similar, we know everything in there. I know he's out of big monsters, he only has small monsters. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna remove every small monster from my deck. The only cards left on my deck here for when I attack his obvious Cyber Jar is going to special summon my big beaters, my eight colored fish, seven colored fish, six and five colored fish too. We're gonna put up a lot of attack monsters and the only cards left on my deck are Regeki and Fissure and cards that I need to open. So the second the Cyber Jar is destroyed, I kill him on my next turn. So I got rid of all the bad monsters from my deck to make sure that this Cyber Jar, he's done. You can't big brain me, Jesse, because I will always have a bigger uh, brain than uh, people. I will attack. I will activate your force. Go boss. Go off a turn. I will activate heavy storm. Oh my god. Pro-Seti Storm? From day one. Ooh, no, you have a bit of a Gekki. I knew he was setting something up. He painful choice, didn't get any good cards on purpose. He was trying uh. to get all the bad cards of his deck. I lose my solemn judgment, but I'm thinking way farther ahead than you. Uh. My favorite thing was Max Gardens. Meaning, oh uh, I'll my. get back my solemn Oh judgment. my god. And I am in spot. Well, all the events unfolded as I planned. I had to make sure that Steven didn't have any spell traps to protect his monsters, so I could swing the board back in my direction. So I had to make sure the Mirror Force protected the Mask of Darkness, so I could get back, so I can clear all his back over with Heavy Storm, get it back to Solemn Judgment, and lock him entirely out of the game. He'd have no cards in hand, the monsters all do nothing compared to mine, and that'd simply be it. Checkmate. I just made the biggest brain play to play around Cyber Jar. And Jesse Cotton made the bigger brain play and set not Cyber Jar. And now my strategy of Cyber Jar, getting rid of all the best monsters so I could special them, is done. I, this guy is, now I know why he has the belt. This guy's next level. This guy, how does he even do these big brain plays? I'll activate my love muscle and more of the unit on my yeah. basket arguments. Increasing my attack all the way up to 2300. Yeah. I will declare an attack on basket arguments. Yes. Oh. Main phase two, I will yeah. set one monster face down and one back row. All right. right. Yes. Drop. It's so sad. <laughs> my, my plan was ruined. You're just too good, Jesse. You're just too good. I have to give respect where respect is due. I'll pass. That play was that play was next level. I think this is where it falls apart for you. I will flip summon magician of faith, yes. targeting my mystical space type from my graveyard, which I will yes. activate on your face. Down. You're just next level, bro. He's next level. I'll tribute magician of faith. For yeah. Oh my spell. god, of course. Then I will take monster of one. Oh also, my I'm god. Spell. <laughs> so it's all common. It's all yeah. common. It's never over. Where there's a will, there's a pendulum. It's okay. Mask of Darkness will attack your face down monster. But there's no base! It's never over until it's over! I get Regeki! I think! Yes! No. I lied! I get swords! Source of revealing light. Mm. And I will attack for 2500. Yes. And again for 2500. Yes. And I will pass turn you. Draw! <laughs> activate swords! Response! I will activate Solemn Judgment. Alright! Alright, Steven, so one more left. Wait! I will only go out on my own turns. Yeah, Normal seven seven call it bitch and attack. It's not even game, it's 25. I scoop. <laughs> Pass my turn! You're not even gonna give me the the the, the good feel no. attacking with You know what Jesse, you're a good guy. I will. I will pass my turn and leave my field empty for you. So then I will summon Cyber Jar. And do it with the monster part one they gave me bigger. Cyber Jar, finish it. I got a hand in. The better do this one. 
Uh, GG's, man. Again, bud. You played great. You know, I would say that I'm sad that I lost. But that massive brain play from Jesse, not setting the cyber jar, I want him to win. That play was magnificent. I, I'm still in awe. Jesse, you deserve that victory. That was incredible. And I hope you win the finals. That was, I can't believe what genius type of play that was. Next level. I lose, but I also win by seeing such a cool play. <sighs> okay, um, that was easy. Uh, yo, who's next? You will be facing Sam, I believe. Sam? Okay, it, it'll be even easier, so. Yeah, bring it on. Damn! I'm facing Jesse Cotton in the finals. Listen, he came here on first episode, he's already made it to the finals. He is a pro player, you know what I'm saying? Like, all, all respects to Jesse. But you guys think I'm scared? To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous going to face against Jesse because I know he's a very smart player. He's very thorough. He knows all his card strategies. He's a, he's, he's a professional, obviously. But does he have a chance against moi? Absolutely not. Guys, let's go. I'm going to win today. Let's do it, Jesse. Let's do it. Me and Mr. Jesse K himself. <laughs> Welcome to Doing I Jesse. Congratulations on that win. That one was insane. That was a that was a that was a fun match. That, yeah. that was a really crazy. Steven Zach scared me quite a bit. The Man. Dark holes in my get these really hurt my, my my cyber jars. So it's all good. It's all good. You know what? This is gonna be a great finals. Jesse, good luck. Okay. I'm really looking forward to face you. When's the last time we played? It has been a long time. Right? 2016, I think. It must, yeah, it must have been really long. Uh, we soon. almost played each other. Where? In uh, the, the playoff that you won, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were on both opposite sides, the top four, but I lost. I wanted so. to face Jesse in the finals, but it's all good. I think he dodged the ball up there because my deck actually was also better geared. Yeah. Than, than it was. It, it would have destroyed me for sure. If you guys know what we're talking about? Remote duel, invitational number one. All right, Jesse. Rock paper scissors. Wait, what? Um, all right. You can have it, it's fine. Yeah, I'm going second. Going second? I'm going second. I'm going second. Good luck. Okay. Good luck, Jesse. Okay, let me just flip my deck around a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Alright, Jesse. I'm ready. Main phase one. Yes, sir. Set a monster? Yep. Set a back row. And I'll call it turn. Alright, draw for turn. Alright, here we go. I don't know what that face down monster is, but I am going to automatically change of heart. Sure. What is it? Mm, perfect. I'm going to tribute your monster to set one card mysteriously face down, which you don't know what it is. If you tribute setting, it has to be Labyrinth Wall or you're setting a big monster. I am going to set this card. Set that, set that. Set three. I am my turn. I'll draw for turn. Conversation, one card. Side tree, one card. Nope, on to the main phase one. Have you start? I will set one monster face down. Yep. Then activate share the pain. We both must tribute a monster now. Yeah. So I'll tribute Saint again. Yeah. Should be probably what happens as well. Saint gets effect triggers now. Went to the graveyard, get a monster of 1500 or less. And I think I will grab Cyberjar. Well. But you already set this turn, though. I did. I already used my normal summon and set this turn, so, okay, so you're, you're safe that. for now. I'm safe for now. I'm, 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 I'm pretty safe. I'll set another card face now. I'll pass the turn now. All right, Mr. Jesse K on end phase. I'm scared of that back row, so I'm going to activate my mystical space typhoon. It was another one, Nuzzler. Uh, I will not pay light points to put him off the top of my deck. What a bait. You baited me. All right, Jesse. I will draw for turn. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna normal summon my Maha Vilo. Sure. So, and then I'm gonna activate my spell card, Black Pendant. This gives Maha Vilo 500 attack. Maha Vilo, I told you, this card's insane. It's huge. He's huge. Maha Vilo has amazing ability for each quick card equipped to it, gains 500 attack. Yep. So it's bigger than Dark Magician by 50. Sure. Enter a battle phase. Sure. I'm going to declare the attack. Any response on the declaration of attack? No, sir. I'm going to activate, of course, my Robin Goblin. Ooh, that is. So now you're going to lose 25.50. I'm going to activate Robin Goblin's throw. Oh, that's uh, concerning. I hope he doesn't hit the one and three on the Cyber Jar because my other cards suck. Yeah, so randomly discarding a card from my hand. Cyber Jar! Yes! Cyber Jar! Get that. Sorry. Get that out of here. 
Otherwise, this is gonna be a rough one. Jesse, your turn. Draw for turn. I set a monster face down. No. And pass my turn. Oh, send another cyber jar. If it is, you're nice. Alright, I'm just gonna enter battle face. Attack with my allowed. Oh, I fit the effect of my same game. That's great. I think I will retrieve another cyber jar. That's good. I really do want to use it right now. Cyber jar's really broken. It's a pretty unfair card. So now I know Jesse has searched cyber jar. Listen, there's one thing that I gotta do and one thing only. I have to be super duper aggressive from here on hand. I need to push for as much damage as possible. Cyber Jar is problematic and that's the only way to beat Jesse is to be super duper aggressive. And remember, Cyber Jar when it's flipped, it destroys everything. So his floaters won't be able to trigger off his effects unless there's Sangan, which is a black force. But cards like Giant Rat, UFO Turtle, and Miss Tomato, they don't float, buddy. So I'm actually gonna use his Cyber Jar to my advantage. Okay, cool, that's fine. Okay, uh, Mr. Jesse K. Cards ahead? Three. I'm going to set one to play around with the duel. In my turn. Draw for turn. Set a monster face down. Set a card in my attack row. Your turn. Draw. I'm going to activate Swords of Revealing Light. Which means you know what comes next. That would be it. Is it all dice? Yep. Monsters and both of the top five are So I get that as land. Yep, and I'll set this face down, put this in attack, well, put this in attack mode, and I'll set this face down. So attack, attack, defense. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in attack mode. A second my I'm gonna put this face down. I get the my billow. Okay, um, can I see your monsters here? Just yeah, so which cyber charge your photo? Okay, sure. And which one is this again? Uh, this is Nimble Bomango. Okay. And also, Black Hand has a ability if his card is sent. I lose 500. You lose 500, so that's another 500 direct damage to you, Jesse Clark. Yep. Um, I am going to enter the battle phase. You're, you're, oh, yeah, you weren't in the battle phase. Yes. Of course, yeah. uh, I'm going to uh, use my mobile to attack into your cyber drone. And use it again? Sure. Sure. Monster. On top of having Robin Goblin in the field, and he just revealed that he had no monsters out. Listen, Cyber Jar is actually helping me here. Uh, switch the Black Forest effect activate. So, wait, what did you get your hand? Uh, I got this. Uh, this. There were two snatches there. And it's another snatch here. That has got to be crazy turn for even uh, MR, MRL format. He has three Snatch Shields and Heavy Storm, and I'm low on life. This is going to be an uphill battle for me. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Hmm. Okay, switch the Black Forest effect to activate. Sure. Cards in your hand? Um, one second. A giant ram. Sure. Okay. So, can, can I, you added Solemn Judgment. Can, can I see what you also added as well? Yeah. It was these five. So I have three, six, ten in hand right now. So I have hand to my one, two, three, four, five, six. So in battle phase still, I'll attack the Urabi 15. Yep. Attack the Urabi Goblin. So I'm jumping, baby! Main phase two, I am going to... In my turn. Draw for turn. Half it, I'll check Goblin. That's fine. So that puts me at 9,000. I'll activate Heavy Storm. Sure. I'm uh, thinking if I want to use Axe Despair. That's fine. Okay. I'm also going to drop that. I will 
attack your area of you. Yep. And activate a rush front this week. Sure. So this puts me at... I have a 23. So yep. I take 800 points of damage. Yep. I will set five cards into my spawn trap cards. And I will pass turn. Draw. Activate Snatch Deal. Snatch Deal. Summon Skull. Come, come to Papa, please. Give me a hug. Okay, I knew this was there. Uh, three Snatch Deals is a lot to deal with. But uh, I kept the Missile Space Typhoon ready for the Snatch Deal to keep myself as live as long as possible to eventually get myself away from these three Snatch Deals. I would shoot you, Giant Rat. Am I set? So I gain 1,000 life points, puts me at 9,200, and I get the ability to special summon another copy of my new Mame Man in attack. I can put it in any position. I would like to put it in face down position. Okay, it's face. Okay, uh, I'll call it a turn there. Alright, Jesse. How, uh, you're, how you're at 1750, you're at 92. I'm probably at 92, right? You have a life point to lead by a lot. Yes, sir. I will draw for turn. Wow, I like this card. Okay, Jesse, you probably already seen what's coming. I'm gonna activate my snatch deal. Yeah. It's all good. One's gone. Activate another snatch. Come on. Come back, Summon Skull. Come back. And I know you have MST down there. Summon Skull, I'll attack the game. Yeah. Uh, when you enter the battle phase, I will use my snatch deal. Snatch deal. Sure. Main phase number two. Yes, um, sir. I will end my turn. Alright. Draw. Set a monster face down. Yep. Someone's skull will attack the Nipple Monster. Sure. I'll flip this. I will gain. You gain a thousand again. You gain a thousand again, so I'm at 10,200 for 1750. Yeah, your turn? Yeah, uh, this is it for me. Draw for turn. I'll activate the Lincoln Duel. Oh, this is. Sure. So I think a card first. So this card allows me to pay 1,000 life points to my. Ooh, Jinx? Do I see Jinx there? Huh? Do I see Jinx there? No. Why? Because that would be that. <laughs> discard a card? Uh, I don't know that. And then I have to discard one more of my choice. Uh, I'll discard my level and nuzzle. Nuzzle? Muzzle pop? I uh, will activate my snatch to you. Yeah. Man, summon Sky, I missed you. A third one. I will enter the battle phase. I'll attack your face down monster and summon skull. Additional faith. Try to get MST. Magician of faith. He gets back the MST. <laughs> I barely got to keep summon skull. Perfect. Now he's attacking the Magician of Faith with his third snatch deal. I can get back my Mystical Space Typhoon. Once those are gone, I should have the game fully in the bag and full control of the match. Okay. Uh... So snatch deal gives me a lot of points in each of my standby phase? Yes. Cool. I am my turn. I draw for turn, and in yep. my standby phase, I gain 1,000 points. Yep. All right, I'll just set a card face down. Okay. Yep. Wonder what that is. I wonder what that is, Jesse Khan. Jesse K? Sure, you know what it is. Alright, I'm going to attack some of the Start of the battle phase. Let's go back to the Sure. Snatch deal. Oh, oh. So this is all three now gone? Correct. One, yes. two, three. Yeah. So that was a pain in the ass, but I'm happy those are gone. Yep. Hey, kids watch the show. Do they? I'm going to set one card face down, and I'm going to end my turn. Draw for turn. Alright, I'm going to activate the Horn of the Unicorn. 
Okay. Here's my summon spell up to 3,200 attack points. Well, that's insane. I will almost summon UFO Turtle. Okay. And I'll attack with Summon Skull into your face down monster. Oh, that with wall. Okay. So it's 3,200. Yep. I'll attack directly. Yep. And on the in the battle step, I'll activate my Robin Goblin. Yes. So you take 1,400 points of damage, and one using Rain will just one card. Sam, which card am I going to pick? So the only card I think I know is Gaia Power. I don't really care about it that much, but let's see what I hit. Oh, monster. 1,500 attack monster. Not the worst, not the best. But it'll do. I will pass my turn here. <laughs> Judge? Yes. Um, just Stephen Chi? Yes, that's my name. Okay, um, I, I, I don't know what this card does. Uh, I don't know what it does either. I think, uh... I just, I'm just confused. I don't know what it does. Yeah. You know what it does? Well, I don't know what card it is, so you can play Dark Hole or Riyaki or whatever. Yo, that's all. I, I, I don't know what it does. I, I... Wait, wait, yo! Is... Does not look like a little pot of here? Oh, yeah, that's I'm gonna activate my card. Pot of greed. Yeah, I would love to draw my pot of greed. But, uh, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, Jesse. I will activate my field spell card called Gaia Power. Sure. This card says you attack all Earth monsters by 500 points and decrease their defense by 400 points. Sure. Now, I'm going to normal summon Gazelle, King of the Mythical Beasts. Sure. Alright. This card is only at 1500, but with the boost of guy power, it is now at 2000. Yep. Now, I will activate my Feast Town card, Black Pendant. 25. Sure. It's at 3700. Through what? I'm <laughs> just joking. <laughs> uh, are you putting it here? Like. <laughs> 2,500 Gazelle! Attack! Hunter the UFO Turtle! 1,100 points of damage. I would love to attack go through. Sure. So I take 1,100 points of damage. And UFO Turtle's effect. Destroy by battle, summon another fire cell. So. Turtle. Sure. Please yeah. summon as many turtles you like. I love turtles. Now I'll set one card face down and then my turtle. You know turtles, Jesse? Drop it. What? The turtles? I have a lot of rest. Okay. Drop your turn. I'll enter my battle phase. Yeah. Battle phase is fine. Summon Skull will declare an attack onto your gazelle. Sure. So you take 1,200 points of damage. Yeah, and you also. Goblin activates, and I take 500 pendant. Sure. Take the one in So I take 500, you take 1,200. And I'll attack for 1,200 here. Yep. Uh, you mean 14? 14. 1,400 you have for a turtle. I will pass turn here. I'm gonna draw for turn. Ooh. Set one card face down. Draw for turn. You said you're at 5200? Yep. Let's go for it. Almost an insane game. Yeah, that's fine. Set time to battle phase. Oh, uh, it was uh, normal side game, yes. Attack for 1000? You should have switched everything to defense position. Because now <laughs> I'm going to send you and your summons goal. To the shadow realm. <laughs> uh, how much damage on the field? 26, 56. So I have 52. You don't have mirror force because he has one, I have two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, I have a card face time that stops it. Second goes through. Declare an attack with your foe turtle. Yes. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. Sorry, I'm off first. Okay. Summon Skull. Summon Skull. And to avenge the kid I beat at London in the future match, <laughs> UFO Turtle will win me this tournament. <laughs> Good game! Can you back roll? Uh, double mirror force, seven tools. Wow. What kind of draw? I, I had you checked on that, and then I had these for make sure I didn't Oh die. my god. Damn! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. The... Uh, that was easy. Dual Night Down had a ton of fun, but when they let me back, hopefully, I will crush them again. When I do come back, uh, what do I get? 
You get, to, you get to spin from the wheel. Spin from the wheel? Oh, he's got to stand no chance. They already didn't before, but it's over now. Oh, I lost. Almost had him. Almost had him, guys. I almost did. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Duel Nights was a ton of fun, and I'm super happy that Sam invited me on the show. It's uh, so intense and, and awesome to play with all the old cards again. And even though it seems slow, it was very intense and down on the wire both matches. And uh, very, very interesting. And uh, hopefully you guys also learned something from how I built my deck and how I played. And if you guys want to learn more, you can always check out Duelist Academy on Patreon. It is a coaching service that me and other pro players run where I can help you uh, make your decks as strong and uh, fluid as my own with as much logic behind it as possible. Make sure your plays are sharp and well thought out as mine are. Thanks for having me on Duel Night. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys, had a lot of fun. Didn't go the way I wanted to. The heart of the cards is not with me. But next episode, it will be when I take on Pharaoh's Servant and make my Dark Magician deck that much better. Episode 3 in the books, Duel Nights was a blast. I really wish you guys could be here too to see how fun it was. We lost, but you already know I'm coming back stronger next week. So if you guys think I'm going to win, you got to let me know in the comments because we're going to win next episode. Let's go. See you guys then. Peace. All right, guys, so that's pretty much for episode 3 of Duel Nights. I had so much fun being in today's episode. Oh, my God. It was actually super duper fun. Fortunately, lost in the finals, but that's okay. Listen, it's all about fun, all right, guys? As long as you guys had fun, as long as we have fun, and most importantly, as long as you guys have fun and enjoy the video, that's all that matters. Congratulations to Jesse Khan winning in the finals. He is a pro player. He's awesome, and he, you know we learned a lot in today's draft, and it's super awesome, and I really hope you guys learned something as well. Don't forget to smash thumbs up button if you guys haven't already, and click on the subscribe button if you guys want to help support the series, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching episode three of Duel Nights, Magic Ruler, Spell Ruler. This is your boy Sam. I'll catch you on the next episode of Duel Night. All right, peace.